What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Five Wars Deke, and it is that time of the season where we start looking at the standings weekly so you know exactly what's going on around the NFL. First, let's start with the AFC West. Chiefs 5-3 after beating the Broncos. They are now 4-3. We're taking on the Chargers today on the road. They are 3-5, and, and the Raiders finally got their first win, so they are 1-7. And in the conference, things are already pretty competitive in this conference, as it always is. The AFC is typically the most competitive conference. You've got two 6-2 and two teams between the Ravens and Dolphins. The Jets are 4-2-1, and one, which gives them, I guess, the tiebreaker of having a half a win uh, over the Colts and us. And then the Broncos are right behind us. So there's still so much football to be played, but as you can see, the playoff race has already begun and it's pretty tight. So we've got to start winning games consecutively again, and we've got to win one on the road. It's the end of a four game road trip and I cannot wait to go back home. We won the toss and elected to receive, so we've got the ball first and starting at our own 24 yard line, already in the gun. Good, we need to be a pass first team. Going deep on the first play, it is almost caught by Darrell Irvin. I like the aggressiveness, coming out and going deep. You, you got to be aggressive. We are that type of team. We are a deep threat team, so I, I don't mind that play call. Here's Shutt on second down, and he's close to a first. We had some deep completions in Denver last week, so let's keep going deep, man. Third down oh! is intercepted. That is the 13th interception thrown by Randolph this season. David Bonds now under center for the Chargers. They still have LT in the backfield. They still have Antonio Gates at tight end, but Vincent Jackson, may he rest in peace, is no longer here. Some new receivers for the Chargers with Vincent Jackson now gone. But as long as they've got LT and Antonio Gates, I think they're going to be all right. Give to LT, and he gets a few yards, bringing up a third down. Bonds. Looking, throws, middle of the field, has his man, but he is just shy of the first. So we basically got a three and out, but this is a 38-yard field goal, and it is good. Randolph, you got to protect the football, my dude. You've got to protect the football. You've got to protect the football. There you go. There you go. We respond immediately. Touchdown, Kansas City. An immediate response. That's what I'm talking about. 16th touchdown pass from Randolph. PAT oh, no! is missed. That is McGuire's second consecutive missed PAT. He missed his final PAT in Denver last week. So, and that's going out of bounds. I said this in week two, and it's still true. We have to win in spite of special teams. We have to win in spite of special teams. LT shut down after a gain of about one. Toss to LT, and he's going backwards. Oh my goodness. Bonds throwing it, almost intercepted by Solomon Daniels. Oh! That's intercepted right after getting the ball back. I, I don't know what he's doing. I, I, I don't know what Randolph is doing. I really don't. Genuinely confused. Genuinely confused. Here comes Solomon in the backfield taking down LT. This is third down, Bonds looking, Bonds still looking, throws to the end zone, incomplete, we were in triple coverage. So once again, we get a three and out, but because of the turnover, they're in field goal range. So here's a 44 yard field goal attempt, and it is good. Two interceptions in negative territory, you miss a PAT, and now we're tied 6-6 instead of being up 7-6, or better yet, just having a 7-0 lead. So we, we've just got to protect the football. Protect the football. There you go, shut. Good run. Good run. 
That's caught, and Darrell Irvin's got more speed than anybody in the stadium. Touchdown, Chiefs. We made the PAT that time, so it's 13-6. Less than two minutes to go here in the first quarter. Pretty exciting first quarter when you consider everything that's going on. Here's a give to LT, and LT breaking a few tackles with a stiff arm there, and only a gain of two after all of that. Bonds looking. Still looking, finally throws, has LT in the open field, and he's down at midfield. That was a mismatch right there. LT was on a linebacker. That was LT against a linebacker. Bonds throws, middle of the field, has a wide open receiver for another first down. Toss to LT. Can we get there? And we do after a short game. David Bonds was called for intentional grounding on second down, so it is now third and 17 from the KC 44. Bonds looking, throws, it is incomplete, and they're out of field goal range. Start of the second quarter, we just shanked a punt, so the ball is at the 37-yard line for San Diego. Special teams is on one today. Randolph is too, but at least he's got a couple of touchdowns. Thompson, the ball carrier. Bonds throws, open receiver, that's Antonio Gates. <laughs> that was a great play off the play action. Man, did y'all see Antonio Gates Jr. is in college now? Antonio Gates Jr. We getting old, y'all. And, and Jr. can play, too. Jr. can play. He's a pass catcher just like his dad. And the brother can play. We, we really getting old, man. We got Asante Samuel Jr. Now we got Antonio Gates Jr. There's a Joey Porter Jr. Throwing to the end zone. Good play by Suggs. Great play. Vons throwing back of the end zone. Incomplete batted in the air. Good job, Solomon. Nate Kading back on to attempt the field goal. And it is good. Offense had to punt, so San Diego has the ball back at their own 20-yard line, less than three minutes to play here in the half. We need a turnover defense. We have yet to cause a turnover. We have yet to cause one of those. Give to LT. LT, oh my goodness, what a block on Solomon. That sprung him for the first down and then some. That's good game planning. That is good game planning because you know Solomon was coming to give that yay yeah You know it. Throwing, it is incomplete. incomplete pass. Bonds throws, middle of the field, has Antonio Gates near a first down. Throwing quickly, incomplete, and they are 0 for 6 on third. Two-minute warning, offense has it at their own 28-yard line. Come on now. Come on now, let's get down this field now. Put some points up. Giving that thing to the fullback. San Diego will begin the second half with the football, so some points here would be major. Would be major. First down. Come on now. Come on, Randolph. Come on, Randolph. Yes, sir! Darrell Irvin has another! Touchdown, Kansas City! Four catches, 155 and two tuds in the first half. Darrell Irving got to be the baddest non-melanated brother I have ever played with. Shout out to Brent Buckley, but Darrell Irving is the baddest non-melanated brother I have ever played football with. That is crazy. My guy is literally a game breaker. He is a game breaker all by himself. Dude is on another, on another planet with that speed, bro. I'm telling you. Throwing middle of the field has his man McLean. And they'll go with the no huddle here on third and inches. 0 for 6 on third down. Bonds throwing incomplete, make it 0 for 7. Come on, man. We got all three timeouts, 57 seconds. 
There you go, first down. And that was Darrell Irvin once again. 54 seconds, two timeouts, ball around midfield. We've got a chance to put some points up on this board. Got a chance to put some points up on this board before the half. He's looking deep. Has his man first down. And here comes McGuire to kick a field goal. All right now, come on now, McGuire. Come on now, McGuire. First field goal attempt in weeks, and it is good. 23 points and a half. We've got a commanding lead going into the third quarter. Getting ready to start the second half, Mark Randolph had 303 passing yards in the first half. 169 of them went to Darrell Irvin. Two of those were for touchdowns. That's going out of bounds. Ball at the 40 for the Chargers. We're up by two TDs and they have not gotten into the end zone today. Toss to LT on third. That's risky, and he's not going to get it. They're 0 for 8. Y'all should already know what happened, man. It was a shank punt. Offense went three and out. Shank punt, ball at the 32. Give to LT. Going backwards. See, the defense is making up for a lot of mistakes. We covering up a lot of issues with the special teams in the offense, bro. We, we are bailing them out. And you know what? Sometimes they've had to bail us out. So it is what it is. It's, it's a team game for a reason. It's a team game for a reason. Throwing quickly, incomplete on third down. Nate Kading back on the field to attempt his fourth field goal. That's all they've had. Nothing but field goals. No matter where they've started to drive, it's been nothing but field goals. And Kading is good. Offense stalled once again, so it is an 11-point game, and the Chargers have the ball back after a good punt at their own 22. Bonds giving to LT, bouncing outside, and LT trying to break some tackles and still ends up nowhere. Here comes another third down for the Chargers offense. 0 for 9 today is the 10th time a charm. The absence of Vincent Jackson is really felt right now. Bonds throws outside, incomplete, 0 for 10, but a flag, and it's for holding. There you go. Good block, Solomon. Oh, oh no! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, thank you, thank you. That boy did not fumble that football. A ruling on the field stands. What? Special teams continues to be on one, bruh. Chargers done got the ball back, bruh. Bonds throws up top. Wide open man, touchdown San Diego. All right, no denying it, this is on Solomon, very clearly. Um, you see this cut right here, bam. It's, I mean, he's running a post, Jordan's running a post. Solomon should follow him, he should, but Solomon sees this outbreaking route and tries to jump it. Suggs probably had it covered. He probably had it covered. We, we called cover two, but I'm going to show you where Pollard is. Pollard jumped this route. So Pollard's trying to jump this route, and, yep, we end up with a wide open man in Jordan. And Jordan, I mean, come on now. If, if they had missed that, they stupid. And for some reason, they're not going for two. But with this made PAT, it will be a four-point game. All right, they've scored 10 unanswered. And luckily, we are still up by four late in this third quarter. We need one of them explosive touchdowns, bro. We need one of them explosive touchdowns. Shut. That's a good game. Oh, 
And that's intercepted. Oh, boy. We really started to implode, man. We need a turnover. We need a turnover. And Jordan, you ain't getting out of my sights no more, bro. You are not getting out of my sights no more. Give to LT. Toss to LT. And he's going, whoa, he's going way backwards. He went well backwards. Bonds throws up top. It is caught by Antonio Gates, their first third down conversion. Start of the fourth quarter, and the Chargers are 18 yards away from taking the lead. Oh, my goodness, man. What happened in the second half, man? We got to lock back in. Give to LT. LT with a good gain on first down. Third down. Bonds throws the screen to LT. LT dragging. Does he get the first down? He does not. Nate Kading is four for four. And if he can go five for five, it will be a one point game. And it is. Good. We need points on this drive. We need points on this drive. Come on now. There you go, shut. Good run, shut. We absolutely need points on this drive. Field goal or touchdown. Preferably touchdown. Good run by shut. There you go, shut. Come on, man. What's the flag? Face mask, thank you. At 15 yards. Come on, baby. Inside the 25-yard line. And that's a, oh, come on, man. That's false start. Come on, fellas. Come on, fellas. Shut. Another good run. Shut the ball. All right, here's a huge third down as we approach three minutes to go in regulation. And we're going to give that thing to the fullback, and he got it! The fullback got it to the 10. Let's go, baby. Come on, keep running that ball. Keep running that ball. Shut down to the two. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Man, keep running that ball, man. Keep pushing the rock. Keep pushing the rock. Go ahead, be the quarterback. Be the signal caller. Shut. Oh, that's a touchdown. Bro, why didn't y'all give him the touchdown? Come on, man. Be smart. Third and inches. Shut. Sco no, he scored. What in the heck? Why are they not giving this man the TDs? And McGuire, you better make this, bro. You better make this. You can wait to the two-minute warning, but you better make this. I'm telling you right now, bro. Don't you miss this kick. All right, he waited till the two-minute warning. He made it from 46, but he did miss a PAT. And this one is good. San Diego has all three timeouts and a minute 56 to drive 81 yards. Bonds, throwing, caught, McLean. They gave him the first down, and they're going to go with the no huddle. Bonds, looking, throws, good hit by Suggs. Come on now, McLean with another catch. Come on now. That's caught McLean again. What is going on? And they're going to go with the no huddle. Yo, McLean is eating right now. Bonds throwing. It is incomplete. Bonds throwing to the outside and almost intercepted. Bonds throwing quickly. That was almost picked. Here comes fourth down. Fourth and 10 from the 47. Come on, defense. 
Let's make something happen. Let's make something happen. Bonds throwing up top. Incomplete, no flags. Come on. There you go, shut. There you go, shut. Say good night. Say good night, baby. Let's go. Chargers are out of timeouts, man, and we're going to take mercy on them. We could score a touchdown, but we're not going to do it. We low-key got away with one today. We low-key got away with it. 26-22 is your final score. And you're going to have to answer some questions, North Turner. You're going to have to answer why you didn't go for two after that touchdown. Why you ain't go for two? So thankfully, the road trip is over and we finished the road trip two and two. We finished the road trip two and two, and if that's the best we could have done, then I will take it. I will take it. We, we are learning to grind out wins on the road. A win is a win is a win. This was pretty ugly. It was honestly a tale of two halves. Although we won the game, San Diego killed us in the second half, man. They played like the better team, but the decision to just kick the extra point instead of going for two after the touchdown to Jordan is so puzzling. You make it a three-point game because the next time they got the football, they kicked the field goal. That would have tied the game. That would have put the pressure right back on the Chiefs to score, which we did not do until the final two minutes. We didn't score until the final two minutes. So after that, all you need is a field goal instead of a touchdown to win the game or send it to overtime, I should say. And Nate Kading was not missing. The dude did not miss. We made way more mistakes than they did. They were terrible on third down today. They were horrible. Shout out to our defense, though. Like, we, we held it down on third down, for real, for real. But they were terrible on third down. We missed PATs. We kept throwing interceptions. We fumbled uh, on special teams. We were shanking punts, which basically was giving them free points. We were doing so many things wrong. Like, the fact that we were able to put up 23 in the first half is really what saved us today. Darrell Irvin didn't have a catch in the second half and still ended up with over 160 receiving yards. John Shutt is the MVP of the second half for the way he ran the football. He ended up with more than 100 rushing yards. And Randolph, this man had 303 in the first half and ended the game with 307. He had four passing yards in the second half. Four. Daniels got his first career special teams tackle, to my knowledge. And the other tackle was a tackle for loss on, on uh, LT, and he had a pass deflection. He should have had a pick and ultimately made that mistake. That Jordan touchdown was on him. I don't even remember the play. I, th I thought it was cover two. Maybe it wasn't. I broke it down as if it was. Uh, but got to look back at the film and see exactly what it was. But that was a breakdown in coverage. It was a mistake. It cost us points. And for some reason, the Chargers did not go for two. So it is what it is. Coming up, we've got a bye week. We finally get a break. We are not going to play a game next week. And then after that, the Denver Broncos are coming to Kansas City. They are now going to try to come to Solomon's new house and beat him after Solomon went there and handled business. We'll see. We'll see. Because now we six and three. We six and three and we have a division lead. We've got seven games left and we have the division lead and we need to hang on to it because it ain't going to get no easier from here on out. We still got to play the Ravens. 
we still got to play the Raiders again. I know they won in seven, but remember, the Raiders put up a fight last time. Like I said, we're going to see the Broncos again. We are going to see the Chargers again. We've got some really good football games ahead of us on this schedule. We got to see the Falcons. We ain't played the Falcons yet. We got to go to Tampa Bay. We have some games on this schedule, bro, that are going to test us ahead of the playoffs. Real talk. But until then, it is your boy Five Wars Deep. One love.